recently, Daryl Scott opened for the Zac Brown Band, and our Courtney Corbetta chatted with him about his latest album and the advice he might have for other aspiring artists. Candy scratching at my door. I got a big black cat and he's scratching at my door. We are so happy to welcome American singer songwriter Daryl Scott to the Western New York area. Daryl, you have been touring with the Zach Brown Band. Can you tell us what we can look forward to throughout the tour and what types of reactions are you getting from your fans being a part of the Welcome Home Tour? Well, I'm opening the shows, so. Uh, and Zach plays to, you know, 10,000 people and things like that. Uh, so that's a little out of my norm. So really it's kind of cross-pollinating trying to, uh, you know, let Zach's people know about what I do. Uh, and then what happens actually, uh, which is very cool and Zach wanted it to be this way, I open the show and then really I stay up there for their set. So I'm really out there for like three hours, wow. basically. So I'm, I'm a player as well and a multi-instrumentalist and so basically I'm out there for the whole time and as well as you know starting the show too. You released your latest album last year in 2016, Couchville Sessions. Yeah. This is an album that you have been working on for a very long time starting in your living room. Yeah. Can you tell us about your creative process and what goes into it? My process is a, maybe a little different than most. I, I can be working on several projects at the same time. And so this Couchville Sessions is one that I tracked uh, probably 14 years ago. And so that came out last year. And so I know that that's a little different process than, than you know, just kind of honing in on one and then releasing that one as soon as you've kind of finished it. Working on the album for so long, when did you decide that, you know what, this was the final touch and I am finally ready to release this album? Well, it's when I got to do everything I wanted to do toward the music. So for example, I tracked it with bass, drums, and guitar, and then myself, and live vocals and all that in my living room. When I've done all my sort of list about a, a record, I suppose that's when I could say, you know, I can't, I, there's nothing else I can do with this and want to, I've, I've done everything. And so it must be done. When you first announced that you were going to release it, you made a statement saying it's important to be an outsider. Being in the music industry, what did you mean by that? Well, it's, it's a perspective, I would say, uh, as an artist. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an ironic statement here. I, I feel like an outsider, uh, even though like, I'm on tour right now with the Zac Brown band, uh, but I'm the new guy. Uh, and I have a perspective even, even with this band, you know? And I think that's a healthy place to be as an artist. I always want to be on that edge of where I'm not aware that I'm selling out, so to speak. I want, uh, I want my stuff to be known and heard, but not at the expense of it being true. So my, part of my way of staying true is to not be wildly successful. All right. <laughs> is that advice you would give to aspiring artists? It is, and especially if artist is, is the word. Uh, you know, uh, definitely. I think that, that just comes with the territory. Well, not only are you a talented performer, but you have written many mainstream country hits performed by Faith Hill, Brad Paisley, the Dixie Chicks. Yes. What is it like hearing your songs covered by these artists? Wow, well, I, I love that these, you know, famous country performers and, and others have recorded my songs, you know, so I mean, take the irony of, you know, I write the songs in my room by myself. And then, so how does it then go to millions of people? Uh, so that part is out of my hands, right? The songwriting is in my hands, I suppose. Uh, so there's a part where the, the writer isn't really a part of making a song a hit. You know, there's a business uh, model that makes it a hit. When you're sitting at home writing your songs, where do you find your inspiration? Yeah, from living, really. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, observing the world, uh, being a father, you know, being a son, uh, having a love, a love affair go great, go poorly. Living will bring on uh, inspiration. Um, and I go to songwriting to process my world, to process what's going on with me. 
Um, and I'd say that's where it comes from, you know, and so I can't really plan the inspiration part. Uh, I sometimes try to push it into happening sometimes, but it seems to have its own timing for me. Daryl, you have been very busy with the Welcome Home Tour. Yeah. What's next for you? Well, to con continue this tour, and it's, it's pretty heavy uh, this year. I think we've got another 40 to 50 dates, and I have some of my own dates as well of just uh, my own shows. And I'm having a ball with these guys. So really what I want to do at, while I'm out here is, uh, is work on a, a new album and, and even in a pre-production kind of way, like we have most of our days you know, off before the eight o'clock or seven o'clock performance. So it's to work on new music while I'm out here because I got, I got things that I could be working on when, when you're at a venue all day long. You know? Well, Daryl, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. I look forward to hearing what you have in store oh, cool. in the upcoming months. Daryl Scott, everybody. Courtney Corbetta, AM Buffalo.